And welcome everybody to the 2018 Pan Am Championships. My name's Tim Baghurst and we're joining a live match between Colombia and the United States. Our official who's posing for the photographs is Alejandro Morales from Mexico. This is a round robin matchup. You saw Colombia lose yesterday to Bolivia pretty handily, but I've been promised a different match today by Cristina Amaya, who's hitting the ball right now. She was in a bit of a funk yesterday. We'll see if she shows up a little more today. Colombia can certainly play. U.S. probably the favorites, although in this group, Bolivia have beaten both these teams and are likely to be the best seed coming out of this group. But a skip to start. Wow, great start. Tysinger. These two haven't played together for quite a while, but they did play with each other several years ago. Good shot from Amaya on the right. Riveros is over on the left for Colombia. Reisic, who you saw this morning play Munoz, is over on the left side. I thought the serve was short. I think Reisic did too. She gets a confirmation from somebody in the crowd that it was indeed short. Doesn't matter, referee's decision is final. Tysinger, wow. That's another one. Thanks to all of you who've joined us. Please do share our feed. We do appreciate it. We have one more match coming up after this, and it will be men's doubles, Bolivia and Mexico. That should be a classic. This should be a pretty good match as well, though. Riveros, Amaya, nice hands. That's a great rally. Tysinger got there. Amaya guides it down the right side. Plays a lot of squash in Colombia. Amaya, and you can see it sometimes in how she flicks her wrist. Takes a big step. Not that time, tried to flick it in the right side. We're at one serving two. All square, two, two. Play to 15, you win by one. If both teams win a game, we have a tiebreaker which goes to 11, win by one. Good shot, says Reisic to Riveros. It was indeed. Above her shoulder, Reisic on the, in the back, in the middle, to the right side, point. 3-2. Wasn't sure whether she skipped it or got it. Good shot, says Morales, our official. Two serving three. Oh my God. That's smart from the Colombian, guiding it to the right side. Skip shot from Rasich. <laughs> T 
Heisinger ran up, covered the middle, half out. Both players in doubles get an opportunity to earn points for their team. And here in Temuco, Chile. Terrific city, really enjoyed staying here so far. Beautiful countryside, nice weather, great hospitality. Our bus driver to the hotel stands next to me watching on. He's perhaps seeing racquetball for the first time, and if you are, welcome. This is the Pan Am Championships. This is a qualifier for the Pan Am Games, determines which countries represent at the Pan Am Games and how many players they can take. Pan Am Games will be next year in Peru. Skip, Adrianos. Half out, four serving three. We're in day three, the last day of round robin. Both of these teams lost to Bolivia. The U.S. lost 11-10 in a terrific match on the first day of competition. They should be the favorites here, but we'll see. It's a bit scrappy. Tysinger goes straight down the line. It's all tied at 4-4. You wonder, she did have a long match this morning. We streamed it against Carla Munoz. It lasted more than an hour and a half. You wonder whether she might be a little tired from that. We'll see. And that's just a mistake from Amaya. The ball hit her. So another point for the United States. Cinco cuatro, five four. Plenty of players watching on. Plenty of coaches as well, scouting maybe for later in the tournament. I wanted that one, says Tysinger. It's good to see them enjoying themselves, even though the competition is fierce. Oh my God, goes down the middle. Adrianos, not sure what they want. Both teams have their hand up. It'll be a replay. Safety hinder is the call. Four, five. Oh, goodness. So when Amaya serves over to the la last, that left side, Riveros is in an awkward position. Good cross court, wide angle pass from Rasic. You see it hit the sidewall, about the encroachment line, the dotted line, kicked back to the middle. It's a good shot in doubles. Especially Amaya, some cheers from her fans to my right. U.S. sit to my left. Clean hitting from the American. Rasich, the defending champion in singles. Side out. Four serving six. Short serve. Interesting decision to serve down the middle. Second serve though goes down the right. Balls gets down the left. Communication so important in doubles. 
You can see some conversation happening between the two Americans. At that time, a skip from the left-sided American. 5-6, a point for Colombia. Great serve. Wow, that's a tough call for Amaya. She had no idea where that ball was because Tysinger was right in her way. Our official said, nope, the ball went past. You wouldn't have been able to get it. You can make your own decision at home, but had I been officiating, replay would have been my call. Second server, 6-5. A serve, 7-5, first game. I think a foot fault was called. My view is a little screened by our official. A short serve maybe. Hit the ball, says Tysinger. 7 5, excuse me, 5 7. 5 7. Beautiful shot down the left side. Ball came to the middle, forcing Riveros over to the right, opening up that left lane. Rasich playing very well right now. Seems to be winning the left side battle. conversation between the two Colombians. Beautiful from Riveros, backhand winner. 5-7, some Bolivians watch on. Riveros originally from Bolivia, moved to Colombia, now represents them. for Colombia, Juan Manuel Gutierrez over to my right. Dave Ellis for the United States. Another skip, Tysinger. Six, serving seven, game one. Great pick up. Wow, what a backhand pinch. Side out, seven, six. Lots of side outs in this match so far. Crisp from Rasich earns a point for America. 8-6. Amaya. Oh doesn't put it down. Oh, that time she does. Terrific hands. A little smile from Amaya as she walks back and looks at her coach. We're still 8-6, second server. Riveros. That's loose. Oh, no. There's the miscommunication of maybe not playing doubles together for quite a while. Both players left it for the other. 
Columbia get a side out. Seis ocho. I like the serve. And the ball goes out. And you can hear Tysinger. That was a jam serve into the middle. And Tysinger hit it above 12 feet. Well, some of the Colombians aren't too happy because that was clearly a second serve and Tysinger hit it. Riveros. Reverse pinch, went across her body on the forehand. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. Make that 9-8, a skip from Tysinger on the right side. Just a reminder, after this match, men's doubles, Mexico, Bolivia, Mexico, Bolivia, Montoya, Beltran, and Moscoso Keller, what a match that promises to be. Yet another skip from Tysinger. Timeout, she says. That's their first, they have two. They'll have a minute to regroup. Score is 10-8 in favor of Colombia. We are at the 2018 Pan Am Championships, Temuco, Chile. Five courts in G2 Centro de Deportivo. Over to my left, Team Bolivia. They're ready to play. They're waiting for this match to end. They're playing Team Mexico. Be sure to stay for that. What a match that will be. Could be a final. But these players and these teams are in groups during round robin. After round robin, they play into single elimination. And how they do in the round robin determines what seed they get in the single elimination. So it's important for these teams to win here because they don't want a very tough match in the first round. So here we go, 10 serving eight. The best racquetball players from each country representing here, we're watching Colombia leading the United States 10-8 in the first game. able to pull it off the glass in the back. Second server. Skip from Rasich, 11-8. That time Tysinger rips a winner, gets a side out. 16 minutes into this First game. Serving 11. <laughs> Riveros. Oh no, Rasich, a skip. It was a big skip. She didn't see it. Side out. Once ocho. 11-8. Tysinger. Beautiful forehand pinch. Can't do it any better. Half out. Wow. It got real close in there between those two players. Side out. U.S. serving 8-11, first game. Very 
There's that forehand pinch that Tysinger likes so much. A very vocal player she is, 9-11. Play called 9-11. The replay called. Safety hold up. The replay called again. It's a judgment call. Probably the right one from our official Morales from Mexico. And another point for the United States. We have officials from all over the world and they are not permitted to officiate on their home country or for their home country. Appreciate the effort that they make to keep these matches on time and sticking to the rules. Wow, there's a very, very fortunate bounce off the back wall. What can you do? The ball just hit the crack and died. Side out Columbia, 11-10. Yeah, talking to our coach, I'm not a fan of that because it really pins Riveros over to the left side. Beautiful from Rasic, and she holds up her hands. Side out again, 10-11. Very close first game. Half out, cheers from the Colombians over to my right. To my left are the U.S. contingent watching on. Rasic goes down the middle. Riveros, that's tough, she does well. Amaya. Tysinger. And I'm a uh, little fist pump from her. Side out, Colombia. Once diez. The Americans have a little conversation. We'll see if I'm a uh, sticks to serving to the left side. Doesn't look like she is. That's not a great serve. Gets it. You saw their racich coming to the back. Tysinger taking the front. Let's see if they do that again. Riveros has to know that Tysinger likes to pinch. She has to cover that corner. 12 serving 10. Play safety, hold up. Cross court pass, Tysinger, side out, United States. 10 serving 12. Do you have time, two timeouts in this first game? The U.S. have one. Second serve coming up. Big skip. Amaya hits the ball into the floor. Went for too much. It's tied 12-12.
Riveros. That's wild. She got it. Oh my goodness. So smart. Rasich likes that one. This is where I would like to see Bolivia take a timeout. U.S. leads 13-12, and they have the momentum. And indeed, Amaya, she will take a timeout. So, game one, this round-robin match between the United States and Colombia. Score is 13-12 in favor of the United States. And we're back in. Tim Baghurst joining you, 13-12 in favor of the Americans. Yes. Game point number one, 14-12. Second serve. So R Riveros put up a racket to slow things down. Partner Rasich saw it. Told her partner to wait. Oh, that's unfortunate. Got lucky, did Colombia. Ball hit Rasich. Second server. This is important. U.S. need this point to take game one. Oh my goodness, twice in a row. 12 14, Colombia survive. Riveros. Should be a safety replay. No. Oh, you could hear the groans from my. <laughs> Colombian contingent to my right, hands raised in the air in despair. Our official said no, half out, 12-14. Two bounces, US 14-12. Game point number one, excuse me, number two. Rasich has an opportunity to win this game. And she does. 15-12 is the score in game one. Players have two minutes to regroup, as do we. A reminder, you're watching the International Racquetball Federation Pan Am Championships, Temuco, Chile. This is a round robin match between the United States and Colombia. If you're interested in the scores and draws, you can get that on our website. Go to internationalracquetball.com, click on events and live events, and you can see that information there. There is also a juniors division in this tournament, as well as a challenger division for Players may be a, a little older or did not qualify for their country. There's an open draw there along with 35 division, a 45-year-old division, and a 55-year-old division. 
Play begins at 9 a.m. each day and continues well into the evening. Last scheduled matches are around 10 p.m. in the evening. So it's a long day here in Temuco, Chile, but full of action and full of drama. And we have a great match for you right now. A reminder coming up after this, men's doubles, Bolivia, Mexico. Could be a final, but it's during the round robin, so we've got quite a treat for you. We hope you stick around for that. <laughs> Mexico will be represented by longtime international athlete Alvaro Beltran and more of a novice, at least at the international scene, Rodrigo Montoya. He won the national championships earlier this year. He's also playing singles. Won this afternoon, 15-0, 15-0. Unbelievably, he's in fine form. Also a junior world champion himself. Facing them will be Conrado Moscoso. He finished his junior career with second place, but he's been in a world championship semifinal and final. And he'll be joined by longtime partner, Roland Keller. Here we go, 0-0, zero, zero, game two, 30 minutes in. Side out. So in doubles, the beginning of the game, only one, the, the team serving gets only one opportunity to serve. Only one of the partners can serve. After that first round, both partners get an opportunity to serve. One of those rules that exists and no one really knows why. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. better from Amaya, second server. If you're just joining us, Amaya is in the back right for Colombia. Riveros is over on the left. She just skipped one into the floor, gives the U.S. a point. Serving is Rasich, the defending singles champion from last year. And on the right, Tysinger, who made the error there and apologized to her teammate. Lots of smiles between them two. Amaya grimaces and looks at her racket. 0-1, second server. It's always interesting to see what changes teams make between the first and second game. Looks like Amaya has decided to start shooting it. Beautiful shot from her, two serving one. Flick of the wrist from Tysinger. Earns her team a side out. Come on, she says, let's play. One serving two. Wow, what a great touch from Amaya. Soft, delicate shot down the right side. Riveros, forehand, rips a winner. Rasich credits her opponent. It's nice to see. Oh, Amaya gets hit in the side. That's gonna leave a mark. Always hurts when you get hit by that ball. Okay. 
I think she's just a little winded. So she'll take an injury timeout. She's over to my right. Yeah, she just took the breath out of her. It's also a good example of why you wear safety eyewear when you play because the, the ball can hit up near the face. It protects the eyes. So if you do play racquetball, please do wear safety eyewear. You can see why. So in this situation, Morales, our official, has started a timer. Amaya is entitled to 15 minutes of injury timeout. It's a one-time thing. She can't go back in the court and then come out and ask for more of that 15 minutes. She just looked a little winded. She's standing up now. She seems to be okay. she's moving about now this is one of those unfortunate things where sometimes you get hit with the ball it does hurt those of you who've been hit with one will appreciate how painful it can be but she looks like she's okay she's nodding her head so we should resume very shortly just a reminder we're in game two the USA won game one, 15-12. It's 2-1 in favor of Columbia during game two. This is round robin. Interesting that Amaya had to play Tysinger earlier in the week in singles. She won, I believe, 11-8 in the tiebreaker, Amaya. Apology from Tysinger. That was very unintentional. Some discussion going on with the official, but in Amaya comes. see the floors very interesting floors they they actually tend to slow the ball down they haven't been finished and so there's no sweat issues when players dive etc usually there's no need for a towel which is very nice keeps play going but there are some uneven bounces on these floors that's for sure definitely some nuances to consider each court being slightly different. So here we go. I think this is a second serve. It looks like it is. 2-1. Riveros just didn't look quite ready. Second server. Skip serve was called. More groans from the Colombians. I don't know. I couldn't see it. You have probably the best view in the house. So in that situation, our official Morales said that Riveros, instead of hitting the front wall first, hit the floor first. And so it's an automatic side out. It's a bit wild. Riveros skips it 2-2. Game number two. Point for the U.S. Skip by Amaya. 3-2.
So the ball hits Rasich, so it will be a second serve. If Rasich had moved out of that box and then it hit her, it would have been a side out. Great serve, Tysinger. <coughs> Excuse me. The court door is over on the right side and creates a slightly different bounce to the rest of the glass. You can see Rasich. She's getting hit a couple times. I think she got hit on the knee this time. Walks it off. Four serving two. USA won the first 15-12. Very flat, Rasich, beautiful technique, stayed low, earns a point. Tysinger, two serving five. Let's see if Columbia can go on a run. So court hinder will be a replay. It looks like it hit the gap between the door and the glass. The official has the right to call any court hinder as they see it happen. Soft hands, Riveros, a point for Columbia. Some cheers over to my right. Three serving five. Great shot, Tysinger, but not a great serve from Amaya. Kicked out to the middle. Riveros. That's a good serve. Rasich to the ceiling. And Tysinger again buries it with a forehand pinch. That's her favorite shot in this match for sure. Rasich left it for a partner. Her partner thought Rasich would get it. A half out. 5-3. There's a big skip from the American. Four serving five. Again, that court hinder. That'll be a replay. Forehand pinch winner, Tysinger. She loves that shot. I wonder if Amaya might try and see serve in that situation. Rasich for the backhand pinch winner. Side out, USA. Cinco cuatro, five serving four. Oh, oh my God, great hands. Second server. This is a close one. It was close in game one. Could have gone either way. Riveros just a step slow. A point for the U.S. No one's taken a timeout yet. Time Rasich makes the, the error, four, six. We've been playing 42 minutes. So, so IRF rules, as soon as the ball 
as soon as the ball is initiated in play, as soon as the ball is dropped from the hand, players can leave the box. The problem with doubles is if you leave that box too early and then the ball hits you, you lose the point. Little fist pump from Rasic. Side out, still 6-4. These players are playing very close to each other. Great shot from the Riveros. Tysinger served to the left. Then Rasic got stuck on the left side wall. Couldn't do anything about that. Neither team really able to go on a run of points here. It's a good serve. Beautiful hands from Amaya. Vamos, she says to her partner. Four serving six. Again, not a great serve, forcing Amaya away from the right side. Tysinger guiding it down that side. Second server. Beautiful soft hands from Rasic. 6-4, we've been here a long, long time. Perfect technique, Rasic, 7-4. skips it. That will be a half out. USA won the first game 15-12. It's 7-4 in the second. Rasich skips it. Seven. Half out. Amaya is just struggling against Tysinger. Just can't find a serve that seems to work. Again, hitting that ball straight in or it's cutting to the middle. Timeout, Colombia. Looks like they'll have a discussion about it. Players have a one minute, two timeouts per game, two minutes between games. We don't have an appeal system in the round robin, we will start that process in the quarterfinals, where we have two additional judges who help adjudicate the matches to make sure that the correct call is called every time. Officials are human and do make mistakes, which can cause some drama sometimes, of course. But during the round robin, appeal systems are not in place with the IRF. If you're interested in the rules, Sometimes they are different to country rules or professional tour rules. You can go to internationalracquetball.com and find all those rules. Speaking of going somewhere, go to YouTube and you'll see a lot of international matches over the years that you can watch at your leisure. Many of these matches will be on YouTube after this tournament is complete. So we have time in, four serving seven, game two. Rasich rips one, cracks, rolls out, side out, seven serving four. A flick of the wrist, again, you can see that squash 
background coming out in Amaya. She really flicks that wrist sometimes. Riveros, another skip. There's been a lot of skips in this match, and I think the team that manages to play the cleanest will come out on top here. That time, Riveros puts one down, gets a side out. Four serving eight. Colombia need points. But again, it's just not a great serve. And Amaya looks back at her coach, nods her head. I'd love to see that Z serve, forcing Tysinger to move her feet. She's getting set up so easily. Riveros. Tysinger. A reminder that in this group are Bolivia, who beat both Colombia and the United States in this round robin. These two are battling for a higher seed than the bottom seed, so to speak. No team wants to be a bottom seed, having to play a top seed in the first round. That round begins on Wednesday. Tomorrow is a day off for everyone. Looking forward to seeing all that Temuco has to offer and its surrounding area. Of course, we are in Chile. It's a beautiful city. Five serving nine. Great serve that time. Tysinger did very well. Riveros hits it high, hits her partner, second server. Colombia just struggling to score points when they have the opportunity. There's one, it's a crack out. Tysinger wants a replay, she won't get it. 6 9. A reminder if you're interested in the draws and results. Go to internationalracquetball.com, click on events, and live events. Great get, Riveros, Rasich. Beautiful technique, but Riveros got it. Amaya. And again, no, Riveros. There's some points for Colombia. Siete nueve, seven nine. Been a close match so far. U.S. winning the first 15-12. Almost thought that Amaya pushed Tysinger out the way there. Side out though, America. U.S. 9-7 up. For the Americans, 10-7. Colombia, do you have a timeout left? Oh my God. Dies in the backcourt. Riveros puts her hands up. 11-7. Feel like the momentum is just in favor of the Americans and they're pulling away. No timeout for Colombia. Wow, that's a great shot. Shot, says Tysinger. Second server. Terrific serve, Rasich. Slides along the back glass. 12-7. 13-7. I'm surprised they haven't taken their final timeout. 
U.S. pulling away. Good shot that time on my uh, forehand pinch winner. Doubles is a game of runs, so much more so than singles because both players have a chance to serve. Columbia need a good run here, but they won't get it with a serve like that. It's a good serve. I wish Amaya would do that over on Tysinger's side. Riveros gets a point, 8-13. That 9-13, couple quick points for Colombia. Don't forget right after this, we'll reset the feed, but we will have Mexico-Bolivia men's doubles. What a match that could be. Easily could be a final. And yet it's round robin. We are spoiled today with some terrific matches and we've had some great ones all day. Wow, reverse pinch, Rasic took it on her forehand, went cross court to the left, hit the sidewall, front wall, roll out. Match point number one, 14 9. Great serve. Riveros puts it down, half out. Match point number two. Catorze nueve. Fourteen nine, match point. Amaya saves another match point. Nine serving 14. Fighting hard to stay in this match. I think a foot fault was called. I didn't see it from here. Second serve. Again, it's not a great serve. Look what happened. Second server. And I think if you look at this match, that's where you're going to see the difference. Amaya just could not score points against Tysinger. Riveros settles. <laughs> Amaya puts it down. Good shot, says Rasich. You saw Rasich run over to take that on her forehand. 10 14. Five points away from a tiebreaker. Make that four points. U.S. do have both timeouts remaining. They elect not to take one. 11-14. Oh my goodness, Amaya just flat out missed it. Match point number three for Team USA. A little conversation between the two. A bit wild, Rasic puts it down with a kill shot. That's match, ladies and gentlemen. USA beat Colombia 15 12, 15 11. I hope you don't go anywhere, though. We're going to reset the feed and be back in about 10 minutes for men's doubles Bolivia and Mexico. You won't want to miss it. But for now, Tim Baghurst signing off, and we will see you very shortly.